And it's not just gasoline in our cars. Fuel prices for planes are also sky high. But what if we told you that what you had for lunch could power airplanes? One company is collecting used cooking oil from restaurants around Orlando's attractions area, and they are turning it into jet fuel. News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval rode along with one of these workers. He's here now with more on what he discovered. Eric? Well, guys, this can be really dirty, smelly work, and that's why restaurants usually pay companies to haul away their used cooking oil. Well, now we found out some fuel companies are not only paying the restaurants for the chance to collect that oil, they're turning it into cleaner burning jet fuel. It's yet another example of how businesses are working to help the environment in forecasting change. Alex Rivero's workday usually starts before the sun rises. I grab the hose, I pull it off the truck, He's working fast to collect used cooking oil from restaurants in Orlando's tourist area before they open for lunch. 20 stops and 80 gallons of oil a day. All of it to be converted into sustainable jet fuel. We say we're we're saving the world one drop of used oil at a time. Dave Kimball is the CEO of Mahoney Environmental, the company collecting the oil. Do you think people even realize that when they order their French fries that they're actually helping to power a jet? No, I, I, don't, I don't think so at all. I, I think, you know, one of the things I think we need to do is, is really have more of a campaign around this because I think it's important and I think it's really good. He says it's really good because jet fuel made from refined used cooking oil can cut down a plane's carbon emissions by 20 to 50 percent, sometimes more and it can be used in any existing jet. The downside, it's expensive to convert the oil into fuel, at least six times higher than refining traditional jet fuel. I don't think the issue in the long run is gonna be the cost. I think the issue is going to be, how can we produce enough of it? The sustainable fuel is already being used in big airports around the country, like Dallas-Fort Worth International. But a spokesman at Orlando International tells News 6, they not only don't use it, They don't have any plans to do so. They say the way their fueling system is set up doesn't make it practical. Wherever you have French fries, you have use cooking oil, right? Dr. Puneet Dwivedi is an associate professor at the University of Georgia. He has published studies on using these kinds of oils as jet fuel. Have the airlines uh, pretty much latched onto this or is there some resistance? So yeah, airlines are behind it. That is why there is so much of action on sustainable aviation fuel not only airlines of this country, but also all over the world. And you know what? Demand for sustainable jet fuel is really growing. Right now, Mahoney, the company that you just saw collecting the oil here, they transport the cooking oil from here to Miami for processing. But the CEO tells me they're planning on building a new plant right here in the Orlando area because business is booming and it could mean more jobs Mm. for the area too. Mm. Very interesting. So does the exhaust... From the airplane, smell like French fries. Is this going to make you hungry, Eric? I actually had to ask this question (laughs) because I was wondering. I was wondering. Um, They said no. Okay. (laughs) They said they actually, you know, separate the solids from the liquids. It just Uh leaves the liquid. And when you put that liquid right next to the petroleum type of jet fuel, you can't tell the difference. The main difference, of course, is it burns cleaner Mm -hmm. and it's better for the environment. Any incentive I need for eating French fries, I got it. There There you go. go. There it is. Love it. Helping the environment.